Another beautiful day. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. Morning, welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. The old man came over yesterday, he moved my trailer for me onto the driveway. He took the old rider and he cleaned up the lawn. Give it a little vacuum job. So that was awful nice. Friggin' right it was. Get one of the best old mans there is in the world, I'm telling you right now. I know everybody can say that, but I do. But look at that. This grass never grows because of these trees. I don't understand. I've tried everything and it's just mud. It's just cocking me right over. Every time I walk back here, I get all covered in dicks. RC track, slowly coming down. We're taking her down, Jim. Nobody used it, so it's coming down. Look at the flowers. Flowers are popping up all over the place they are. You know what that means? Spring's actually freaking here. Look at it. Shit. Freaking right, that's decent. I just fired up the old Chevy Silverado here and we're gonna take it for a little rip and see uh, what happens. I got another appointment this morning, we'll get that over with. Gotta go by mom's and maybe see if I can't get her spot there where she should be uh, fabricating something for the old air conditioner. When we get feeling better, we'll be able to slot that in for her. She's gonna have to wait though because I can't lift nothing right now. She's cocked right over, Captain. But we're gonna get rolling here. Hopefully the rain holds off. It rained all night, so that's good because we need the friggin' rain. I don't know if you guys got rain or not, but we sure need that rain. Friggin' right we did. She was drier than dicks. Drier than a popcorn fart it was. Oh, Chevy Silverado. Easy on the grass, Captain. Easy on the grass. Better shut the garage door before I friggin' leave or I'll forget about it. Just so you know too, decent, lost spark. No spark on decent. It could either be the coil, it could be the CDI box, which is 275 friggin' dollars for a CDI box. Hold on, I gotta put my seatbelt on. I'm telling you right now, I'm not happy about that because it died yesterday driving it and I couldn't push it. So I had to wait for the daughter to get home to help me push the damn thing off the friggin' road. Wish I was recording that. Of course I wasn't. I was just out for a holy shit, I gotta get out of the house deal and that's what happened. So we'll work on that together here when I feel better and get that running because I can't be without my golf cart. I love good old decent. Uh oh. They're doing the old up the nose test, boys. Girls, peoples, eh? Hey? Little owl, little, little, you know what that is. Little. How you doing? Friggin' right, it's a little how you doing. 57, not warm enough yet, but not too bad. We'll take it. So I'm gonna mosey into town here and see what's what, and I gotta call a little tools about the CDI box and about the coil pack and see what's what and see if they can't get ordered because I use O-Tools because they're right there, why wouldn't I? <gasps> Put the camera down, Jim. Sorry about that. Apologize. How you doing? How you freaking doing, bud? Frank, I can get him to my house and roll my lawn, Captain. Get a little roll action. Now's the time. It just rained. It'd be nice and soft and gushy. You'll have the straightest lawn there is. Get her while she's gushy. Why wouldn't you? Anyways, off we go. Just down here at the water again, waiting for my appointment, and I just happened to notice that they're still filling that ship four days later. So there you go. Four days. They've been filling that ship. Oh, way. What's really going on? If you want to see that ship, get over to the old Lake Freighters and Boats and you can see a fly over that thing if you want. But I got to look up some things here for decent. See if we can't find some parts and this, that, the other thing. Look at my hair, Jim. I need a haircut, boys. So how's we don't put moose in it? Rank. Let her grow, Captain. See if I can't get her down on my throat. But I'm off for another week. One more week, boys, girls, peoples. One more week without pay. It's getting kind of tight, to say the least. And my benefits just ran out for chiropractors, so now that's costing me money too. Oh, hey, double dipping, Jim. Oh, well, can't work if you're not freaking healthy. Got to get the old bones and the old strength back there and so I can go back to work and do what I do best. And when I go back, I'm going to be easier on myself too, I am. I'm not going to work like I'm 20 anymore. I'm going to start to work like I'm 50, because I'm almost there. This month, I'm 48. Holy. How you doing? What the hell are you doing? So as you can tell, around here we're in total lockdown right now. There's not much going on, there's not too many people on the road. You know, just parking lots are pretty empty. As you can see, there's not too many people in the parking lots. Hate to say it, but I think people are doing what they want now. They're not listening to the government anymore because it is what it is. Honk on Bobo. I'm not gonna sit at home. I'm gonna go for a drive if I wanna go for a drive. It's not like I'm kissing anybody beside me. Frig. What do you think? Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Higher minds wanna know. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification too if you like this kind of video, which is the same kind of video as every day. Vlogging my ass off. Captain? That's not six feet, Jim. No, see, the parking lots are empty. How you doing, hey? How you doing? Decent. Sorry, honk. Ah, hey. ah, ah, what is really going on, Captain? This guy's breaking for nothing. Oh yeah, 
Throw your butt out the window, Jim. Why wouldn't you? I hate people that break and signal. Are you a break and then signal type of guy or are you a signal then break type of guy? Person, girl, boy, whatever. Hey, let me know down below. If you're a break and then signal type of person, you're a dickhead. <laughs> if you're a signal then break type of guy, then you're a good guy, girl, people. Fucking right you are. <laughs> Don't be a dickhead. This guy needs a windshield, Jim. Oh, what really going on down here? Took a little ride to the train station to see what's happening. Looks like they're digging up the parking lot a little bit. Can I get out down here? Clarion guys want to know. Bring right I can. I wonder what they're what are you burying, Jim. Take some of that gravel and put it in this hole over here. Rig. Ah. 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 Buddy. Ah. Can't go over any further, Jim. You're gonna have to wait for me. Ah. They're smoking weed. Weed smokers. What's for lunch today, I wonder? Something cheap would be good. I should go home and make myself a hot dog in the barbecue. Let's do it. All right, I'm back home. I got the barbecue fired up. I had to fix the old igniter again. Anybody has problems with these igniters from Weber there, if they get rained on, they're decked over. You gotta take them apart and clean them every once in a while and do this, that, and the other freaking thing. I'm down to one wrap, so I'm only gonna make one of these today, which is good, because I'm on a diet anyways. So I got myself a wrap, triple baked, Tortitas wrap. Friggin' right it is. So I got four hot dogs, one for the dog, one for the cat, and two for me, Jim. So we'll get them in there, and then we'll get them cooked up, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next, because that's what I do. We'll shut that down and we'll let her brew on. Right, dog? Friggin' right. He looked at me like, what I do wrong? Everything. How's the hot dogs looking? Oh, they're getting there. Decent, give them a little rollover. Perfect. Turn it down a little bit so we don't burn them. You know, you wanna marinate your hot dogs. You don't wanna cook them too fast and get them all cocked over you don't now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these on there because i almost cocked over my hot dogs we're gonna put one of them there we're gonna put one of them there we're gonna put some cheese on it how am i supposed to do this and hold this i can't can you see freaking right you can so we're gonna put that we're gonna put some cheese just a little bit we're gonna put some ketchup on it Fuck. like that we put on some mustard like that we're gonna give her a wrap job <laughs> Like this, wrap her up real good, as good as you can. We're gonna flip her over. We're gonna let her just melt there for a bit. And that'll be my lunch. Hurry up and wait. How are they? Are they cooler yet? Oh, there you go, now you can eat it, go ahead. It's cool enough now. Have a hot dog, would you? What are you meowing at? Oh yeah, get your face right in there. Why wouldn't you? Nothing like a good ass nip before a meal, Captain. How we doing here? We gotta make sure everything gets uh, melted, we do. Gotta have a melted hot dog wrap, we do. How was that? Did you even taste it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, now you did it. Those are the worst goddamn hot dogs I've ever had. She's got some champion hot dogs. Oh my God, how disgusting are they? They taste like a rubber band. What happened? Need help. Do you need help? Oh, I can't wait. Come on, let's go. How are we doing? Are we melted in there yet? Nope, not yet. Patience is a virtue. Walk away, Jim. Walk away. Well, there we go, everyone. A hot dog wrap. Check it out. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. God damn. That's actually pretty good. Well, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for the day. So we're gonna sit back, relax, rest the back, see where it goes from there. Take a look at golf cart maybe later because my back's irritated so I can't really get on my knees right now and sit down there and do that. So hopefully you're just having a good day like I am. I'm not doing anything I ain't doing. Love you all and until next time. You know what to do for now.